I'm going to be honest with you all. I was not much of a fan at all of Justin Herbert coming out of the draft. You can still search out my old tweets. I was actually a big fan of his back in 2017 when he broke out at Oregon with 10 adjusted yards per attempt. However, in the two seasons that followed, he seemed to stagnate or even regress at times. He clearly had the arm talent to make any throw, but his bad mechanics led to poor play more often than one would want to see over those final two years. Overall, his inconsistency is what made me hop off the Herbert train. I pride myself on not being one quick to overreact like many people did with Daniel Jones after his debut last year. But in this case, it's taken only a handful of games for me to fall head over heels for Justin Herbert. He's just been that good. I've never been happier to admit that I was wrong. But just how good has Herbert been? Not only has Herbert been one of the best quarterbacks overall in the NFL this year, but he's also off to one of the greatest starts to a rookie season ever. If the season ended now, which it obviously doesn't, Herbert's 8.15 adjusted net yards per attempt, which incorporates sacks, touchdowns, and interceptions into the regular yards per attempt number, would go down as the best number ever by a rookie quarterback. The same is true when it comes to regular adjusted yards per attempt. For good measure, Herbert also currently has the highest yards per game mark ever for a rookie quarterback, almost 20 full yards better than fellow draft mate Joe Burrow, who sits in second place. In terms of two of the more complete quarterback stats, which take everything into account in QBR and PFF grading, Herbert's rookie season again ranks among the elites. For transparency's sake, both of these stats only go back to 2006 as of now. Herbert's current QBR of 77.2 sits behind just Deshaun Watson's mark in 2017 and Dak Prescott's in 2016. For what it's worth, Watson only started six games in his rookie year, so a couple of big volume stat games boost his totals, whereas he was actually quite inconsistent on the field. As for Prescott, Herbert trails him by just over a point. In terms of PFF grading, Herbert's current mark of 75.8 only sits behind Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott, Matt Ryan, and Baker Mayfield in terms of rookie passers. All four of those players instantly improve their team's tremendous rookie years, so it's not a knock at all to fall behind them. The same could be said for completion percentage over expected, in which Herbert also falls fifth, behind only Wilson, Prescott, Burrow, and Robert Griffin III. Instead of comparing Herbert's 5 game sample size to past rookie seasons in full, let's now compare his first 5 games to the first 5 games of other rookies. You might be shocked to hear this, but again, Herbert's season stacks up. Herbert's completion percentage of 67.39 is second to only Ben Roethlisberger 71.79 in his first 5 games. Big Ben's rookie season in 2004 rivals that of Dan Marino for the best ever by a rookie. Herbert is again second to only Ben in terms of passer rating through five games, falling just mere tenths behind him. Herbert also has the second most passing yards through five games of a rookie season, sitting behind only Cam Newton who famously opened his career in 2011 with back-to-back 400 -back plus yard passing days. But it's not just volume either, in terms of adjusted yards per attempt, Herbert again sits in second place through five games, this time behind only Greg Cook who is the ultimate what-if story in NFL history. In a final second place finish, Herbert sits behind only Deshaun Watson for most touchdown passes in a player's first five starts as a rookie. As I alluded to before, Watson was aided by consecutive four and five touchdown performances before his season was cut short after six starts thanks to a torn ACL in practice. Therefore, if Herbert continues at the pace he is on, he will shatter the single season record for TD passes by a rookie set by Baker Mayfield in 2018. Mayfield had 27 in 14 games, but with 12 scoring passes through 5 games of his own, Herbert is on pace for 36 this season. In fact, if Herbert throws 3 touchdowns in his 6th game, he will tie Watson for the most ever for a rookie through 6 games. In my opinion, the 5 greatest rookie seasons ever currently belong to Dan Marino, Ben Roethlisberger, Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott, and Robert Griffin III. Justin Herbert probably won't wind up having the best individual rookie season by a quarterback ever, but I would not be surprised in the least bit if he jumps into that top 5. Additionally, with the hot start he's already had to the season, it's highly probable that he'll break a ton of standard box score records if the Chargers continue letting him air it out. 
Herbert hasn't done much wrong this season, but he's been great because of how next level he's been on those deep shots. Only Russell Wilson has thrown more touchdowns than Herbert's eight this year on passes thrown 20 or more yards down the field. According to PFF, only Wilson and Tom Brady have put up a better big time throw rate than Herbert in 2020. Herbert has still been a bit inconsistent on intermediate area throws, but it hasn't mattered much because of his dominance elsewhere. He's also been ridiculous under pressure. Only the two New York quarterbacks have been pressured on a higher percentage of dropbacks than Herbert has this year. Yet, unlike Sam Darnold and Daniel Jones, Herbert has a whole highlight reel of firing touchdown passes while getting destroyed in the pocket. Producing this well under pressure is usually an unstable method to predict future performance, but over recent weeks, Herbert has also been one of the highest ranked quarterbacks in clean pocket situations as well. This is what has made Herbert's rookie season so impressive. He's been otherworldly on the things that he already does great, but he's also been solid in all other facets of his game. His play is still volatile to agree at times, but he has toned his inconsistency down immensely since entering the NFL. It seems many, including myself, simply underestimated just how poor of a fit the situation in Oregon was over the past couple years. Now in an offense that accentuates all of Herbert's strengths, he is thriving, and it is beautiful to see. He probably will experience a slight regression of sorts. However, everything he has put out thus far has shown that he is, at worst, a good quarterback. By season's end, Herbert will probably have shattered a ton of past rookie records. Unless he miraculously turns the Chargers season around and leads them to the playoffs, he probably won't have the absolute best rookie season by a quarterback ever. But it doesn't really matter what happens for the rest of the season. Simply being in the company of Dan Marino and Ben Roethlisberger will be enough. In Justin Herbert, the Los Angeles Chargers have found their franchise quarterback of both the future and the present.